with the restaurant in Missouri, uh, dividing people, uh, putting strict age restrictions in place where you have to be 35 years old as a man to enter the restaurant and 30, and 30 years, years old, old for a woman. woman. That's fucking no crazy to me. This I restaurant. Know, no, I have no problem with that. Uh, I don't. I don't. I have no problem with that. I mean, you're it's entitled to do what you want because it's your business. I have no problem with that. And as a business owner, I have no problem with that. I, I, I don't have I, no I, age I, limit, though, so come. So come you know dogs, you know man. that you're limiting your possible revenue, but. Not necessarily. Your it all I said, I said, I said, no, it's not. I said, it's you're possibly words. limiting your revenue. It all depends on what you, from what I've seen, that's an upscale. What, where you're located. Yeah, but what I, from what I've seen, that's an upscale restaurant. And? Okay. So, so how many young, young adults under the age got 30, money? women under age 30 got money like that? And with this, hold on, let me finish. With this economy, the, the birthday, the birthday lady just said it's tough out here. But just, there'll be just, around just, niggas oh, that's oh, oh, 35. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I'm going to ask her one question, though. Sure. Would you be able to afford it, though? Yes or no? Yes. None uh -huh. of this shit matters to that's us. That's her. It doesn't Not matter. everybody's what built you, like that, though. This is what I'm saying. You are already, you're, you're, you're digging into the pocket. You act like this is a club. That's, the, that's what caught me off guard. I'm like, you're going with age restrictions Next have we not seen? Have we not seen viral? Have we not seen, seen viral? I've seen old people act a fool. That's true. Yeah, that but is true. What's, but what's the tendency of that happening though? Versus yeah. somebody younger. Okay. That is true. Okay. Of but this is my question. Is but this is my question. My Usually, older. when they act a fool in the restaurant, it's probably music playing and stuff like that. Music or alcohol uh, involved, I, I, and or both. both of them is going to be involved. They're going to be playing music both at the said establishment. See when. A couple. This was last year. Oh, it? when somebody oh, got shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I so, remember that. So that don't count. So another. So another <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking something That's happened. Like a house. nigga had a heart attack at the L. <laughs> nah, a nigga got shot. That don't count. Uh, that's yeah, the L so, house. It's fine. So and then, and then too, you gotta understand, he's a black business owner. So yeah. as a black yeah. business owner, hold on, as a black business owner, it's hard to get funding for your business, and then the, you don't know how much money he had to put up to put in that, and he's not trying to lose, so he's trying to make sure he get his bang for his buck. So if he gonna put out this type of experience for you, he want this type of crowd in his um, establishment. He, and he's and entitled he has to, a right it. to do it. He has yeah. a right to do it. I'm just saying, saying he might he's be kind of I don't think he's doing that. I don't think he, I don't, me personally, I don't think so because like I said, we, it's a lot of successful white businesses cater to specific crowds. And if you want to get in that, that specific crowd, you're going to do what it takes to get in that specific crowds. For instance, a lot of this uh, high-end stuff, that's clothing wear, shoes and stuff. That's not catered, that's not catered uh, to appease black people. That's catering to people who got money and white folks. Black folks go to that because they want that. Well, see, this is my you black people got money now. There's that, a couple there's that, a couple oh, yeah. of black Listen, people out here with some say, money. And the, the reason I'm saying this that. is if you just we're talking go back about, 10 we're talking years, about age. There there weren't as many. There are yeah. there's some there's some black folks right. with money. So and with, you're saying age. You don't think these black folks with money are giving I work at a store mm -hmm. where these kids have black cards. Mm -hmm. Their parents have black cards. Mm -hmm. yeah, key word, parents black cards. Exactly. So they didn't get it. They didn't earn it. Their parents giving but it to them. But their parents. That's not what, it's a whole different But you're story. saying they don't it's have a, access to these funds. No, that's not. They have this. That's not what I'm saying. It's a difference when you work and earn that shit because then you're going to protect that because you know what it took for you to get that. In other words, what I'm saying is you went through the trenches. You, you know what I'm saying? When somebody giving you something, you ain't earned that. You didn't work for that. So you will, you can abuse it. Why? That's my mom. That's my dad's shit. It ain't yours. So that that's the reason why if he if he created a up upscale experience, right? He want to protect his investment. Mm -hmm. And if you are giving somebody an upscale experience, then he's already he already strategically saying, this is who I want. Mm. This is my market. And if you want to be a part of this, then you got to meet, meet these meet Okay, this, this is what I want to do. I want to get the name of the spot. Bliss. And then I just want to, like, we're going to write it down. And in a year, we're going to go back and just see if the establishment's still running. Yeah, probably still be no, over, but he's be definitely going to be missing out on money. He's missing out I believe it's going to be I just be said there's plenty of white businesses oh, out here that's not is. that they're successful it's not that it's just that i'm, oh, yeah. I'm just surprised at how he's coming off it's how it's being promoted how it's being but why pushed. But, 
Go ahead. 35 and 30. But, like. why, but why is that bad when a, when a black business owner do it versus Who a white business owner? I'm not nobody I'm not said nothing about the color. You, it's, how it's coming off is like, why would he... He sound like he's trying to make a club out of a restaurant. Why would he cut... No, you... Based off... If somebody was just listening... Off, off, off the top, they're listening here. You're saying, why would you cut off this X amount of population? And he, and what we're discussing is, what is the experience that he's giving his his customers? Yeah. If he's giving an upscale experience, he want a certain type of people in there. He want people in uh, there yeah, that that got cool. the money. Now that's not saying the younger generation don't have the money, but how many of he's just them, saying age though? Exactly. You got age group when it go to certain mad clubs. Broke you got niggas age groups in my to age to, bracket. You got say what? I know mad broke niggas in my age but bracket. Again, we're not. Nah. Again, we're talking. You want to cater to these five, niggas? Fine, but if they <laughs> these if they, broke ass but niggas, but they're not going though. They're yeah, not they're going. Not go. They're not going to go. I'm just saying in general. They're though, not like, going to go. We talking about all these young niggas with money though. Right. I know mad young niggas. I know young niggas with a little bread. I do. Yeah. I do. I do. No, you didn't say they get it. You did. You did. You right. I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back. They have manners. They have right. they, it, what difference does it make what they're it's wearing? A lot. No it's white a lot. tees. That's okay, so listen. As a business owner, so that's if I, a lot. Because so the way I dress, are, the way I dress in business. general. Listen. Sometimes I dress like I'm still in my 20s. We don't want business sometimes. owners going sometimes viral I'm because like, somebody's I'm dressed up like I'm still in my 20s. And shit. Sometimes I'm dressed like a kid. But how it many doesn't matter what that's the outfit I want to wear that night. He looks at me, this grown ass nigga wearing this shit. But how many oh, well, businesses that we've seen online? He's going to let me in. They're going viral. Yeah, he's going to let me in. He's going to let me in because I'm old enough. I'm seeing they, they get a little them. alcohol in them. They get a little twerking. And they they don't know how to act. Why? Because this is a black establishment. They won't. And so all this twerking and shit, take it to Prime, take it to Pink. Don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. I'm about to say, yeah. I see right, black exactly. women doing the Look, same thing. Look, what did you so say? what I'm saying is, black grown is, women standing on the sofa shit. Acting yeah. a fucking fool in some of these establishments. You see that little viral do, video in downtown Raleigh? But we do know there's a difference between. So let's don't get up here and act like that. What we what a white person do, a black person can do. We know that. So don't yeah. do that. As a black business owner, we have a lot acting of, like we, Americans. We got you know no. As mean? a black business owner, I can speak Not on that. People. As they a black business owner, based off America. experience, when it comes to niggas, they treat you totally different. They expect like we your home boy. Yeah. Oh, what's up? They ask you weird ass questions yes, just they because do. you got a female working in the, in your establishment. Oh, do y'all go together? Who goes in a white business establishment and asks because you see an attractive female working in the cash register? Do you automatically the the boss's wife, girlfriend, something. But when it comes to niggas, they do different shit when it comes to black Because he's trying business. to holler at it. Right. It's, it's when it comes to black establishments. So you have to set the line. Draw a line. Listen, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it. And if you don't like it, take your ass home. I mean, I experienced that myself four years ago over this mask, over this, over this mask situation. Yeah. I saw the chatter online. You know, people was talking about they basically going to lie. These big corporations basically gonna say we're gonna do the honor code, and these folks saying like they're lying. So I went on my business page and said, "Hey, listen, you come up in here, you gotta wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask, if you got your card, show it, and you can go without wearing a mask." Do you not know after the governor finished his damn um, newscast about that? One minute after he finished, how my page. Blew up all social media platforms. People get mad because of what I say, mm. what I want in my establishment. And I'm trying to protect my workers and my and my customers. So the fact of the matter is, I feel what he's, I understand what he's talking about. As a consumer, you need to look past of what's the what's what's on the what's on the surface and like why is this man doing it? One, maybe the location. Okay? Maybe the location. Maybe he's in a location where they really didn't want to give him that establishment. He went through hell to get get the permits and stuff to get the shit open. Why? Because he's black. You feel what I'm saying? So he's trying to protect his investment. Now, maybe after a certain amount of time, he may loosen it up. But if he don't, let's don't get on him. Let's don't sound like what he's doing is bad or is out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? He has a specific business plan that he's following through. Let's respect it, if anything. Yeah. You know, that's all how I look I at it. I ain't respect it. I just question it. Yeah. Questioning it is just as bad as disrespectful because you're just like, how? you don't trust. No. Oh, hold I'm on. I'm not allowed to have Do questions? You, no. You just, I didn't say that, sir. Fuck him, what I'm fuck saying, you. It, it, that's it, the it case, the off, fuck. It, When you're going to question what I'm, what type of experience that I'm trying to give my customers, that can come off as disrespectful because it's like, 
Are you in this? Are you in this mind frame? Are you putting in this word to put this out? You don't know what I had to do to get it through. So just the fact so of you I can't have questions. You're questioning. You're telling. You're saying because he has an age limit on it, he's automatically cutting out a certain. I, I don't think that was wrong. Like brother, um, <laughs> so where'd you get the thirty-five and thirty that, thing what from? What are you actually but offering? That's not the first time it's where happened. Where it's only though. for people who are thirty and thirty-five, like 30 thirty-year-old women. Okay, thirty-five-year-old men. God, what, what's going on here? It's he nothing wrong with it. He just, want, he just want a mature vibe in his Yeah, but I'm just saying in general, that's cool. That's cool, but I'm not allowed to ask questions about why. Yeah, you are. But why, and nobody said that, but why is it I can't bring my, what if my son but, wants but, to come no, for a good graduation come, for college? No, he that's might not be 25 that, but why does it come off as what he doing is like, enough? it's out of the ordinary, yeah, though. It's one thing to say, hey, can you explain to me what's the what's the whole <laughs> setup versus they why? Don't him, they definitely don't want him and his friends. Who say anything about his friends? Yeah, yeah. All right.